let's go back for a second to you must have been what 14 from maybe some inter past interviews that I've uh, watched yeah uh, where where it said where you first got into competing correct I started really working out at 14 but I started competing at 16 my first show was 16 16 sorry that's right yeah. so and that was in the AAU yeah they only had the AAU back then because the MPC didn't start until 1982 so my first show was in 1979 got it so, so it was all AAU. right now t talk to me about the first ever natural Mr. Olympia that was held in Greece because it was under the was it the A the A ABA what is it? The ABA, right? And now it's yeah. the P. Now it's the PMBA that runs the PMBA, natural, yeah, or IMBA, so we'll, or the IMBA. So obviously, yeah. you weren't kind of you weren't part of that organization when you were competing, correct? Well, yeah. the uh, The first Natural Mister Universe I did, which was in 1992, that was part of their organization. And uh, the reason I did that show was because I always wanted to win Mister Universe, and I never heard. I didn't even know they had a Natural Mister Universe. I didn't know that something like that existed. So when I started competing in natural bodybuilding, I went into that contest in 1992. And then I was pretty much involved in their organization for the next few years. And uh, the president of the IMBA, uh, Denny Kakos, he called me up earlier that year in 1998. And he said, we're going to have a, a natural Mr. Olympia. I go, really? I go, how did you get the title natural Mr. Olympia? I can't believe Joe Weider lets you have Mr. Olympia in the title. And he said, yeah, we had to finagle it, but somehow we got it. So he said it was going to be held in Greece uh, that fall. So I said, all right, for sure, I'm going in it. Because I said, if, I, if I'm the first guy to win that, that would be a great marketing tool. You know, I would be the first Mr. Natural Olympia. So I trained all year just to enter that contest. So, yeah, that was in 1998. And we held, they held it in uh, Corinthos, Greece. So that was pretty cool. That's awesome. And so that was the PMBA. So I got, I must've mixed yeah. that up. I don't think they were okay. calling it PMBA but back then, but yeah, that's the same organization. Yeah. Same, same owner, same organization. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Yeah. That, that, Cause I was a little bit confused. Cause when I was looking at the uh, stats, like the, you know, your contest history, I'm like yeah. ABA, but natural Olympia. And then I got, yeah. I was like, yeah. okay, that makes sense now. So he must've uh, maybe he changed the name or whatnot as he kind of progressed it. Yeah, I think it's gotten bigger and bigger. So I'm not sure what ABA stood for. I think it was Amateur Bodybuilding Association. And they started off in California. And they've always been all natural. And then as it got bigger, INBA means International Natural Bodybuilders Association. So because now they've encompassed the whole world. They've got countries from all over. And they did back then too. But it's much, much bigger now, as you can imagine, because it's been going on for so long. Right. What's your take on how the sport has evolved since, I guess, then and now, right? Yeah. Yeah. It, it seems like we've lost the, um, the artistry of the bodybuilding, you know, the physique. Because back then it was really about building the most perfectly developed male physique. 